What's going on YouTube? So the Trail Boss models have proven to be very popular in the Silverado lineup, which is why Chevy makes them available at two different price points. Earlier this year, we took a look at the LT Trail Boss, but today we have with us the Custom Trail Boss, which of course builds off of the much more affordable custom trim level. But is this the best combination of style, capability, and features? Let's go ahead and find out. So most of the styling is very similar between the Custom Trail Boss and the LT Trail Boss. However, there are some differences, most importantly up here in the front. So what you'll notice is that we don't have a Chevy badge up here. That's because on the Custom Trim level, uh, Chevy has now gone to spelling Chevrolet out across the front. So that does go for this Trail Boss version as well. Now you'll notice we have a gloss black finish across all of this, as well as our lower bumpers here, which really contrasts nicely with this model's optional cherry red tri-coat paint color. And then you also have your red tow hooks down here at the bottom as well. Now, I do wanna talk about the headlights. This is one area that is certainly different from the LT Trail Boss, and that's because instead of LED headlights, we're gonna have halogen headlights uh, for both your low and your high beams. Now, of course, it couldn't be called a Trail Boss without some extra capability. So it does have a two inch lift over the regular custom Silverado. And because of that, that's now bringing your total ground clearance up to a really, really good 10.8 inches. And of course that does increase both your approach and your departure angles as well. Now, next up we have our wheels where we have two different options. So what we're looking at on this particular model is the standard 18 inch gloss black alloy wheel. Uh, you can also get 20 inch alloy wheels which have a very similar design to this. But more importantly, you'll notice that we have uh, some really rugged tires on board. These are Goodyear Wrangler mud terrain tires. As you can see, you have a really aggressive sidewall as well as very thick tread. Now, as we move on up, you've got your Z71 branding. You've got your mirrors finished in a contrast black. Um, as far as the features on these, you don't really have much going on, um, but you do have a blind spot mirror uh, in place of blind spot monitoring on the driver's side. Now the custom trail boss is available in two different cab and bed configurations. You have the crew cab, which is what we have here with us today. You also have the optional uh, double cab that you can get if you want something a little bit smaller and you can get the standard bed or the short bed. Now, before we move around to the rear design, I do want to point out you have your nice trail boss branding right here, really kind of sets off the design. And then as far as the rear is concerned itself, I think this is a really, really stylish truck. It's not really too different from any other Silverado. So you're gonna have the Chevrolet embossing and the tailgate. You do have your custom branding on the right side. And then if we drop down to this area, you'll notice this is a shiny black plastic. I really like that element. And you do also have dual integrated exhaust outlets and you have a 9,200 pound tow rating as equipped for this model. Now, if you recall, one of the 2021 changes for the Silverado is that it can now get the multi-flex tailgate, which is basically the GMC multi-pro tailgate. Um, that is actually not available on this trim level though, so I do wanna point that out. Now, as far as the tailgate itself, you just push this button to open it up. It is really nicely dampened, so I'm happy to see that. And as far as getting in, of course, in typi typical Chevrolet fashion, we do have this nice little foot hold right here that helps getting in very easy. Now, once inside of the tailgate itself, uh, you do have a really nice bed with a nice lining. We do have LED lighting on both sides as well as tie downs. Now, for all you truck people who aren't a fan of all the safety systems, you're probably gonna be very happy with what this custom Trail Boss comes standard with, because that's nothing, but we do have an optional safety package that includes Ford emergency braking with pedestrian detection on this particular model. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up the exterior design of this custom Trail Boss. I think it looks really, really cool on the outside, but now let's go ahead and check out the interior. But before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because it really helps us out. So 
So with the custom trail boss, you do have a traditional key as well as a separated key fob. And there is one difference for 2021, and that's the fact that the convenience package is now standard equipment, and inside of that will be a remote start system. All right, and taking a look inside of this cabin, um, as you can see, it's definitely very tall for someone like myself since it is lifted up. And the cabin itself is very similar to what you get in all the other versions of the Silverado. Now one difference you will notice from the LT Trail Boss is the fact that we have the center seat. So this is a bench seat and the console can fold down. You cannot get the bucket seats like you can on the LT Trail Boss. And as far as your color options, you have jet black cloth only, which of course is what you see here. Now turning over here to your door trim, you will have a padded material for your arm to rest on. The rest of this will be hard touch plastic. And then as far as your windows, it's gonna be one touch auto up and down for the driver only, auto down for all the other three. Heading over to the seat, as you'd expect for a more basic truck, we do have a manual adjusting seat. And then we also on this version have the optional running boards. Uh, these are real metal and really, really sturdy feeling. A nice size for your feet and definitely essential for a shorter person like myself getting inside. Now, of course, this is a rugged truck that is based off of one of your most affordable trim levels of the Silverado. Therefore, that does mean your cabin is going to be you know, cheaper than what you get on the LT Trail Boss or higher models. So across all of the upper dash as well as the lower areas, this will be a hard touch plastic. We have a silver trim that runs through here. You know, in all your other areas, they are obviously very durable feeling and you know, feel like they're built to last. Now to start it up, get out your traditional key, slide it into the slot and twist it. And then definitely enjoy the sound of that 6.2 liter V8 firing up. But besides for the engine, as far as the gauges are concerned, this is your typical Silverado fare. So we have our analog tachometer, speedometer, as well as some gauges across the top there, and a 4.2 inch multi-function display, which is optional. And included with that will be your steering wheel mounted controls, part of the safety confidence package. Now, as far as the steering wheel itself, you do have electric power assisted steering and a urethane steering wheel with the same silver accents from the dashboard. Uh, you will also find a black Chevrolet badge right there in the middle. And the wheel itself will be manual tilt and telescoping. But this is a giant truck after all, so let's talk interior storage. That's right over here. Right now we've got the seat up in place. Uh, but all we have to do here is pull this little lever and then we can fold down an entire center console here. So this is actually pretty similar to what you get on the uh, regular F-150 with the bucket seats. So you can open this up. You have a nice storage area here with a felt or rubber lining down at the bottom of it. Plenty of space for all types of things, including for our coupons. We have some more cubbies up here as well as our cup holders. And then you just have all this space here that just exists as a, you know, an empty void. So obviously you can stick just about anything in this area, including large objects. Right above that, we have our two USB ports, a 12 volt outlet, and then these blank spots are where some connections would be on the higher end models. Now up above that, we have our climate controls. So as you can see, this is mostly a manual setup. However, Chevy calls this a semi-automatic climate control setup, and that's because if you use the remote start system, even though you have manual controls here, it does have the ability to set uh, its own temperature as well as fan speeds for that circumstance. Of course, you've got uh, your controls here physically rendered, including your zones, and we don't have heated or ventilated seats on this particular model. 
All right, and now that brings us up here to our audio system. So this, of course, is the standard audio system inside of the Silverado lineup, which is six speakers. And we'll go ahead and give it a sample right now. So overall sound quality is fine for a standard audio system. Okay, so now we will take a look at our infotainment system. So at first glance, this actually looks to be exactly the same as what you have on other Silverado models. However, since this is a more basic trim model, this is actually a seven inch display instead of an eight inch display that you get on the higher end models. Uh, but beyond, beyond that, it's mostly the same. So you still have Chevy Infotainment 3 as your infotainment system and it has the newest software as well as pretty good performance. Um, I will point out uh, one small difference, that's the fact that we have standard Android Auto and standard Apple CarPlay, however, they do not run wirelessly on this lower end system with the smaller display. I also almost forgot to mention, there is a large storage area up on top of the dashboard as well. Then kind of wrapping up the front here, we do have a manual dimming mirror got some LED illumination up at the top and then on this particular trim level we of course do not have a moon roof um, and Chevy uses that extra space actually to make the roof even taller for the tallest people out there and uh, the rear glass is going to be fixed here with the custom trail boss Alrighty guys, here I am in the Silverado Trail Boss's rear seat. Now of course this is the crew cab configuration and you probably guessed it, there's a lot of space. I mean, this is a ridiculous amount of space. Now as far as the legroom figures themselves, they're going to come in at 43 inches of rear legroom, 40 inches of rear headroom, which does place it slightly below that of the Ram 1500, but it's right on par with that of the F-150. Um, and behind our seating position, I mean, Come on now. I probably have, I would say, at least a foot of space. And if my feet can slide, can reach the seat, they do slide up under there perfectly fine. Now, besides for the space, you are actually going to have a couple features. So I'm very pleasantly surprised that it does include vents. And that's even on this custom Trail Boss model. And then here in the center, we're not going to have a fold-down armrest. You could get that on higher-end models. But I do want to point out that these seats are really comfortable, which is something you can't take for granted. Now, as with any truck, the main purpose is to be usable. So this rear seat can be configured to just fold up like that. And then that can reveal this whole area for you to use, as well as just hide stuff underneath. As you can see, we have our tripod, tripod camera bag there. And to release, you just pull it and yank it down. And you can also fold the seat backs down if that's something that you need. Now, as you would expect, your seat is gonna be manually adjusting on this model. And as far as the glove box, well, I, shall I say glove boxes, because there's two of them. Um, you have one up top that can fit a decent amount of stuff. I don't think you could fit our coupons. Maybe if you did quite a bit of squeezing, you could fit them in there. But never fear, Chevy has also included the lower glove box portion, and the coupons fit in there just fine. Um, so certainly a plus for me on the storage. Then if we open up the sun visor, we have a massive mirror. It's about 10 inches wide, and then we can also detach and extend the sun visor. Alrighty guys, I couldn't get a full zero to 60 acceleration there, but you know what we have under the hood. You could probably tell from that slight acceleration there that we have the 6.2 the big daddy 6.2 liter v8 engine uh, producing that whopping 420 horsepower 460 pound feet of torque um, i mean this engine after living with it for several days i have no complaints with it i never had any complaints with it before and now i'm just in love with it because it just sounds fantastic has so much power on tap uh, it's really phenomenal that it can move something as big as this as fast as it does. Yeah, and it's phenomenal that it's made available to this trim level as yep. well, which is really a cool thing for sure. Now, there are two different 
other engine options available. So this actually starts out with the 4.3 liter V6 engine. You can get the 5.3 liter V8 engine, or you can choose this top option, like you said, with the 6.2 liter V8. Alrighty, but just kind of cruising along here, um, I do want to point out the fact that this Trail Boss uh, Silverado does ride really good. Now, as you're probably familiar with at this point, if you go for an off-roady type truck, they do have some fancy shocks on them and they really just absorb the bumps. As you can see, um, we went over this bridge right here. I mean, you really can feel almost nothing, especially if you hit like a pothole, it's like just soaks it right on up. So a lot of you guys will probably appreciate that. Um, now, of course, that does mean that you're gonna have a little bit more body roll, you know, when you're driving, but I really haven't found this to be like too bad in terms of driving dynamics definitely feels better than the titan pro 4x that we had for a week here uh, a couple months ago and we'll go ahead and grab a sound level reading here pick it up to 55 real fast Looks like we're pretty much locked in at 57 decibels. So that is uh, actually a quite good number for yeah. a large pickup truck like this. And we do have the mud terrain tires like we were discussing on the exterior. So, um, you know, I actually don't find that those make too much noise, even though you can, some vehicles do suffer from that. Yeah. Now, if anything makes noise, it would be the tires, but I really don't have any issues with it. That's the noise we want to hear. <laughs> you just gotta love it. <laughs> Whatever this engine costs to upgrade, I would highly, highly, highly recommend because it is just, it's enough to put a smile on your face absolutely all the time. <laughs> and it just fits with the demeanor of this yeah. truck. That's our auto start stop system right there. That's another thing that I've been very impressed with over the course of this past week is just how good the 6.2 liter auto start stop is. Besides for the noise, you cannot feel anything about the auto start stop, but the noise you can kind of hear it a little bit if you don't have the music playing, but no complaints with it. Now another element of that powertrain that is really just so good with the 6.2 liter engine is the 10 speed automatic transmission. Um, for as, having as many gears as it does, you really cannot even notice when it shifts at all. Like, I mean, it probably just cruising down the highway is in 10th gear most of the time and when you put your foot down it can drop probably like four gears at a time and you really just can't even notice at all. It's always has the uh, engine it's right power band and all that and I have I mean it's one of the best transmissions that I've ever experienced myself yeah for sure this is just a really really solid transmission that's why General Motors uses it in a lot of different products now that's another thing I do want to point out if you want the 10 speed automatic you are gonna to have to get the 6.2 liter V8 because the other two uh, engine options for this truck are gonna come with a six-speed automatic transmission so that's something to keep in mind if you're considering should you upgrade or not this 10-speed is going to definitely be the superior transmission on board with that now we can talk a little bit about the uh, fuel economy right now so what this one is rated at is gonna be 15 city 19 highway 17 combined um, of course we have standard four-wheel drive with yeah. <laughs> the trail boss obviously now I guess I could go ahead and mention today's slam dunk, and that's just gonna be the exterior styling of this uh, custom trail boss. Really, you're missing nothing over the LT trail boss, which is quite a bit more expensive. And honestly, I kinda like the front end of this one better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really, really handsome truck, and everybody who's seen it has said the same yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Now on the air ball side of things, um, we said, it's going to be the features of the cabin. I'm getting ready to talk about the pricing, um, but you know, this is a pretty basic truck as you've seen throughout this review being based on the custom trim level. Um, yet the price is not what anybody would call like, you know, really no. cheap or anything. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So the tr custom trail boss can be had for as low as $41,300 if you get 
the double cab with the 4.3 liter V6 engine. However, most people are going to opt for at least one of the two V8 engines and the crew cab. I, I don't think I've ever seen <laughs> yeah. a double cab trail bus. Um, so that brings us to this specific example, which has the optional 6.2 liter V8 engine for $2,500. Uh, we've got several different options, including a few safety systems and odd and end items. And with our pretty steep destination charge of $1,595, our total is $49,785. So basically you're at $50,000 for this truck. So what do we think after living with this custom Trail Boss Silverado for a week? Well, you know, I have to say I actually really like this truck and I've had a very good week with it. I'm not the typical truck clientele, but I have really enjoyed driving it with that nice 6.2 liter V8 10 speed automatic transmission. And honestly, it feels more manageable behind the wheel than a lot of other trucks that I've driven. Um, not to mention, you know, this has an affordable price tag and with typical truck discounts, you could be looking at a low $40,000 price tag for something like this, uh, which really isn't much more expensive than the mid-sized truck class. So I highly suggest going and checking one out. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up this in-depth review of the 2021 Chevy Silverado Custom Trail Boss. We really appreciate you watching this video and if you made it this far, I know you enjoyed watching, so be sure to help us out by hitting that subscribe button down below. We're so close to our 250,000 subscriber goal, so please help us out by doing that. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.